So here we are in Bonn for the very last negotiation session before Paris. And what is very clear, like abundantly clear unfortunately, from the commitments put forward by like around 150 countries so far, is that we are far cry from where we need to be if we want to avoid the worst impacts of climate change. So that is why we need some very strong mechanisms within this agreement to make sure we catch up. So one of the main things we need is a very strong long-term goal, kind of sets the direction of travel, like it sends a very clear signal to investors, policymakers, uh, on all levels that this is where we need to go. Like concretely, what we need is like by 2050, we need to have phased out fossil fuels and we need to have the like, transition to renewable energy. So that is a very clear target that Paris needs to really, you know, put in place as the thing to, to, to get to. Another thing we need to do as well, like mentioned, commitments on the table right now are clearly insufficient. So you need to have a process that ensures that they're scaled up regularly and that kind of this, this, this political will that's only going to be better and better because of the impacts of climate change going to be more and more clear, like the economics of renewable energy getting better year by year, that that is going to be captured in this process. So what we need is like five-year commitment periods, which basically means that every five years, countries need to step forward and put another new and stronger commitment on the table to show that they are willing to close the gap to where we need to be. So these are two very important parts of the ambition mechanism that we need to see in Paris in order to be able to, 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 to deal with this challenge.